the input output table shows the interdependence of various industries of an economy the main purpose of the input output analysis is to find the level of output that should be produced by each industry so that the total demand for the product of that industry is fulfilled in this video you will learn how to construct the open and closed input output model Suppose an economy has three industries and produces three commodities. Industry 1 produces commodity 1, industry 2 produces commodity 2, and industry 3 produces commodity 3. Can you recall the input output table for a closed economy? If you could recall, then you must be able to express the current situation in an input output table. This is the closed input output table for the three industries producing three commodities without a final demand component. Y11 is the total quantity of first commodity needed as an input in the production of the first industry. Y12 is the total quantity of first commodity needed as an input in the production of the second industry. Y33 is the total quantity of third commodity needed as an input in the production of the third industry. In the same way, you can interpret the other elements in the other cells. Adding the entries of the first row gives the total output of the first commodity that will have to be produced that will be used as intermediate input in the three industries. Similarly, adding the entries of the second row gives the total output of the second commodity to be produced that will be used as intermediate input in the three industries. And adding the entries of the third row gives the total output of the third commodity to be produced that will be used as intermediate input in the three industries. There is no final demand and all that is produced in the industries is being used up by the industries. So the industries are the buying industries and the selling industries. Such a model is a closed input output model. The open input output table looks like this. Could you spot the difference? Apart from the intermediate demand, there is a column of final demand. Let us now formulate the general form of input output model. Let us consider an open model. The total output of the IIT industry may be written like this where i is equal to 1, 2, 3 up to n. Yi is the total output of the IIT industry. Yi1 is the total quantity of output of the IIT industry used as input in the first industry. Yi2 is the total quantity of output of the IIT industry used as input in the second industry and so on. In general, Yij is the total quantity of output of ith industry used as input in the jth industry. Can you write the general mathematical formulation for n industries? You have just seen how the interdependence of industries in an economy has been expressed in a mathematical form. This is the beauty of mathematics. 
This is how mathematics makes the study of economics easy to understand and interpret.